is a place where architecture and environmental design students working on their daily tasks. It is located at Mahalataha and Mahala Maimuna. The average numbers of tables for each studio consists of 18 tables per studio. The table is flat at zero degrees and students are unable to get the best view of their drawings. However, the table can be elevated at many levels but students do not know which is the suitable angle to acquire an accurate view of drawing. Therefore, in this study, we would like to find the best angle for the table in order to get a perfect view of drawing. Based on the research held, the best angle of elevation is between 40 to 50 degrees. As the students on very of height, we have used average student height in this study. It's good, it goes the same with the chair. We also use the average height of chair. So let us move on to the first step. The first step is to measure the table's length. Second is increase the height of the table by elevating the table until it reaches level 1. Third is measure the elevated height of the table. Fourth, calculate the angle of elevation. And the last step is repeat step 2 until step 4 until the angle of elevation reaches 40 to 50 degrees. For the solution, we will measure the standardized elevation of the table. So the range will be between 40 degrees until 50 degrees. So the student will get a perfect view for the drawing. So the first of all, we will, we will measure the height of the chair. And the measurement is 0.24 meter. And next there is the height of the student that is 0.32 meter. And this, the next one is the length of the table. The, uh, the measurement is 0 0.75. And we will also measure the height of each elevation. The first one at the level 1 is 0 0.2 meter. And the uh, height of the table at level 2 is 0 0.4 meter. And the height of the level 3 is 0 0.5 meter. So the next one for the calculation, we will apply to the figures. In, to solve this problem. So, first we find the angle of elevation at level 1. The height of the table with uh, at level 1 is 0 0.32 meter and the length of the table is 0 0.75 meter. So, we will use sine here. Sine x, that is the angle of elevation at level 1, equal to uh, the 0 0.32, that is the height of the table or divide 0 0.75 in line of the table. So, uh, for the relation, we will move the side to the other side and we will get the inverse side. Uh, and multiply to 0 0.32 divide 0 0.75. And the angle of elevation at level 1, that is x, we will find 35.26 degree. So, that's all we, we will calculate at angle of elevation at level 2. So, at the angle of elevation level 2, the height of the table is 0 0.4 meter and the length is still the same, 0 0.75 meter. So, here also we use sine. So, sine y, the angle of elevation, equal to 0 0.4 divided 0 0.75 meter. So, we will move the sine to the other side and we will get the sine inverse, multiply 0 0.4 over 0 0.75. And the last answer will be 32.23 degree. And the last one, we will calculate the angle of elevation at level 3. So, the height of the table, of the table is 0 0.5 meter. And, and still the same, the length of the table is 0 0.75 meter. So, we still use the sign. Uh, that we will sign Z, that 
the angle of elevation element 3 equal to 0 0.5 over 0 0.75. Uh, so we remove the sign to the other side and we get the sign inverse multiply 0 0.5 over 0 0.75. And the last answer will be 41.8 degrees. So between all these answers, uh, the best angle of elevation for final forget the drawing will be angle of elevation element 3 because the answer is 41.8 degrees that is between 40 degrees until 50 degrees Finding the largest dimension of layout for our GC fund project. Yes. Every year, AAD students have to do a final project as their final assignment for graphic communication. Before they would start coloring the drawings, they need to arrange the layout and photocopy it on three A A1 papers so that they can paste them on uh, on three A1 mounting boards. However, they need to be they need to have margins on each paper so that they can avoid the side of the drawings from fading away after being photocopied. Therefore, in this case study, we have to determine the largest dimension for the layout so that so they will not have this problem. Okay, the next one is the procedure. We have four steps here and then the first one is to identify the margin size of A1 paper in the computer. Second, um, measure the margin size on the A1 size paper. And then, we calculate using differentiation. And finally, we determine the largest dimension for the project drawings to be placed on the A1 paper. Value of W. And 
After we get the value of W, we substitute this value into the first equation. And thus, we get the dimension of 